Hello students, welcome to lesson 1.12. Today we're going to be talking about patterns and frames and arrows. Let's get started. Take a look at the math message. The question wants you to look for a pattern and then fill in the missing numbers. Number one, we're starting at 37 and then it's going up to 40 and then it's going up to 43. I can see that the numbers are increasing so I know I'm adding and I'm adding 3. So if I follow that pattern, 37 plus 3 is 40, 40 plus 3 is 43, 43 plus 3 would bring me to 46, 46 plus 3 would bring me to 49, and 49 plus 3 would bring me to 52. Let's take a look at the next one. I have 27 and then 25. This time, instead of getting bigger, the numbers are getting smaller, so I need to subtract. 27 to 25, I went down by 2, so I'm subtracting by 2 each time. 27, 25, if I take away 2, I would be at 23. Take away 2 more, I get to 21. Take away 2 more, I'm at 19. And take away 2 more than that. I would get down to 17. Now we're going to talk about some frames and arrows. Frames and arrows are problems that always have a rule up on top and then they have some frames down below and inside each frame are some numbers. And every time you go from one frame to the next frame you need to apply the rule. In this case the rule is minus 2. I'm starting at 17. I'm going to follow the arrow and take away 2. That will get me down to 15. I follow my arrow and take away 2. Now I'm at 13. Follow that arrow and take away 2 more would bring me down to 11. Follow the arrow and down 2 more would bring me down to 9. This time instead of minus 2, my rule is plus 3. Here I don't know my starting number, so I'm going to start with the numbers I do know and go forward. 23 plus 3 is 26. 26 plus 3 more would bring me to 29. Take that 29 and add 3. That would get me to 32. 32 plus 3 brings me to 35. And 35 plus 3 brings me to 38. Now I have to remember I still have this empty frame. What I want to do to find that number is reverse the rule. Instead of going forwards, I'm now going to go backwards. I want to go back this direction. If you look at our numbers, what's happening? 38, 35, 32. Instead of adding 3, my rule reverses. I'm going to do the opposite and take away 3. So starting at 35, 32, 29, 26, 23, minus 3 more would bring me back to 20. And then we always want to double check and make sure this works going forward again. 20 plus 3 does in fact get me up to this 23. This time my rule is minus 5. I don't know the starting number. Just like last time, we're going to start with what we know. 40 minus 5 is 35. 35 minus 5 gets me to 30. 30 minus 5 is 25. And 25 minus 5 is 20. Now I want to go backwards, so I'm going to reverse the rule. Instead of doing minus 5, I'm going to do plus 5. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. This first one must be a 45. Here the rule is missing. We don't know what the rule is. So we're going to use these frames to help us find the rule. I'm going to start at 62 and I'm going to go to 72. I know the number is getting bigger, 62 to 72. So I'm going to go ahead and put the plus symbol in my rule box. Now I need to see how much bigger did it get. 62, 72. The tens place went up by 1, so I'm increasing by 10 each time. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the other. 72 plus 10 brings me to 82. 82 plus 10 is 92. 
92 plus 10, oh, we're crossing 100. So this time it's going to be 102. And 102 plus 10 more is going to bring me to 112. This time we don't know the rule and we don't have two numbers next to each other. So this is really challenging. We want to think about what we know. I have an 80 and a 70 and a 60. Right away I can tell that the rule is going to be minus something. The numbers are getting smaller. First I would think, hmm, 80, 70, 60, they're counting by tens. But notice that doesn't work. If the rule was minus 10, 80 minus 10 would mean I'd have to have my 70 here. So that does not work. So I'm going to try minus 5. Let's see if minus 5 works. 80, I'm just going to kind of do it in my head first before I write it down. 80 minus 5 would bring me to 75. 75 minus 5 would bring me to 70. So this seems to be my rule. I can always change it if that doesn't work out later. 80 minus 5 again is 75. Minus that 5 is 70. Minus 5 more is 65. Minus 5 is 60. And minus 5 more would bring me to 55. Okay, now it is your turn to practice. What I would like you to do are answer these problems in your math notebook. These will be your quiz questions. You need to number your paper one, two, three, and four. Remember to pause the video so you have time to think. And what I want you to do is write down what is the rule. Now you will need to fill in the frames and arrows. You will need to draw this in your notebook and fill these in in order to help you. But the answers to the quiz questions will just ask you for the rule. So once you have figured out what the rule is for all four of these problems, I would like you to go online and put in your answers to the quiz. Good luck and I will see you in class soon.